Thank you for watching Dr. Josefina's Way, and I'm Laura Gutrich. Today we're talking about foods that make people fat. Yes! <laughs> I'm not laughing at that, just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. Um, but you know, in today's society, it's almost impossible to steer away from processed foods. Mm -hmm. And I think most people don't realize how dangerous, very dangerous. And you know, there's actually symptoms yes. of the dangers that you speak of. Um, you talk about gaining weight in all the wrong places being obsessive over food, mm -hmm. um, people can't stick to their diets, mm -hmm. um, and basically experiencing withdrawals. And uh, we talked about that in a previous lesson, I remember, about yes. the additives in foods yes. that are actually addictive. Yes, yes. So we crave these, these things for a purpose, not simply because they taste good, exactly. but because of a chemical thing going on. Yeah. All if your diet or you what you eat is mainly based on processed food, mm -hmm. then you get in yourself in big tr trouble. Yeah. In my the way I look at it and the study shows that. So why? Because what happens is the more people eat, the more the less the more they want. Right, right. And what happens mm -hmm. the, the, those chemicals, the preservatives, the additives, the coloring, what they do, they change your your brain chemistry, mm -hmm. making your your uh, your brain addicted to this chemical. So when you eat then you don't never satisfy. You never right. have one cookie, you have the whole package. The whole bag of potato it's chips. The whole bag of potato chip. So that is not good because what happened, mm -hmm. the, the stomach will send a, uh, a message to the brain saying, hey, stop eating, I had enough. But that doesn't happen because all the preservatives, the additive mm -hmm. and, the, and the chemicals that are in the food that are making you fat. Yes. And That's bad. Yeah, and, and it's unfortunate that the processed food tastes so good. Yes, but that's exactly why. Yeah. Because they are made purposely to your test buds. Yes, you that's know? right. So what happens, you get, you, you, you have it, then you get more, and you want more, and you want more, and mm -hmm. you can never stop. And yeah. that's what people say. You know, I, I, it's hard for me to stop, but why? Yeah. Something triggers your brain mm -hmm. that is no good for you. Yeah, like like popcorn that or whatever whatever item is flavored with the sweet and salty. Exactly. It tastes so good, and you're just like, yummy, I want more of that. Exactly, and they know the chemistry. They know that human beings mm -hmm. are wired that way. Mm -hmm. So they do it purposely. They yeah, know, yeah. I nev you never hear someone saying, "Oh, I just got to have another orange," or "No, I just got to have another banana or apple." Exactly. And it's unfortunate. Yes. Because you have to have a lot of willpower in order to eat the foods that you should be eating. Exactly. And you know, going in, that's a good segue because what happened is when the food in nature, the food that are that are not man-made mm -hmm. are awesome for you. For instance, we got here a carrot, yes. right? Yep. And then what happened with the carrot? When you cut the carrot, the, the, what they say is, well, you know, your mom, your grandmother, my grandmother, and then all days people will say carrots are good for you because they have vitamin A and they're good for your eyes. So guess what? When you cut the carrot and you look at the, the, the anatomy of mm -hmm. the carrot, it looks like a, the purple. It looks like your oh, eye. Oh, that's funny. It, exactly. So you look at it, it's exactly like an eye. Right. So it's, 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 it's no like a tail, you know, it's good for you, if for your eyes, that <laughs> vitamin A. Another good one that we have in here, for instance, we got a tomato. Okay. Oops. And tomatoes, when you cut the tomato, the tomato has the ch like chambers. It's good for your heart because right. the shape, when you cut the tomato, has the different chambers just like your heart. Oh. So it has lipokin and it helps. It's very, very good for men, especially, uh, in, you know, for the reproductive system of the man. So tomatoes are very good for you. It helps. It's very good. This is fascinating because when you take... It is very interesting. Very. Now, this is a sweet potato. Your favorite. My, my favorite. <laughs> well, sweet potato look like what? What organs of reminds you? A, a liver or kidney or the something? The pancreas. Oh, the pancreas. Right? The okay. pancreas. So the pancreas produces insulin. So potato allows you to keep your glycemic index level. 
Wow. And so that's why if you have a piece of, you know, a whole sweet potato, that is like four meals. But if you have two, three ounces of sweet potato, uh -huh. you keep your glycemic index going level instead of spiking all the way up and then you become insulin resistant. Wow. So sweet potatoes are good for your, for your pancreas. Okay. So help you with, it, with, it, with your insulin. Now, um, this is a good thing. This is an avocado. So uh -huh. these is are the food that are good for you. So I'm not telling you don't eat processed food. Right. I'm also telling you yes, don't eat okay. anything processed, I will say. <laughs> but then here's what you can eat. This is an avocado. Okay. And then what happened? It has when you cut it, it has the shape of the one. That's a a woman. So it has all the good nutrients right. that helps women's reproductive system wow. and the seed inside it takes nine months just exactly the same That's amount amazing. of time that it takes for a child to grow a mommy's wow. one so avocado excellent fats okay <laughs> now this is a good one i love this one remember you you are vegetarian see this is yeah. celery yeah celery is fabulous because celery guess what it looks like <laughs> I don't know. Your bones, your bones okay. are long. So celery is, are, celery is very good for your bones, okay. for your health of your bones. And also it has like about 25% of salt. So you put your celery in your, in your salad, you don't need to add more salt because you get all the okay. salt is in, celery, is in the celery. So the, it's fabulous. So this is our foods that you need to be choosing instead all processed stuff. Yeah. Now, you're going to get a kick out of this. Now, look at this. What, what do you call this? Uh, what are is these? That a uh, fig? Figs. And they grow in twos, right? Okay. Now, what do they look like? <laughs> anatomy, say. anatomy of a man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they look like testicles, right? Yeah. <laughs> and when you open them, they have tons of seeds in there. You're like the, the you know, the, the sperm. Oh, wow. So, uh, figs are very good for the reproductive system, for the testicle of the man. Wow. So, men that have a problem with that, you start eating your figs. The so figs you are so good. My mom has a fig tree. And oh, no. Oh, right please give me tree. some. Oh, I will. Oh, my I God. Will. So, this is good. So, any, do we have anything else in oh, there? Oh, we got the avocado. Yes. Uh, another another yeah. good one, you know, remember kidney beans? Yes. Kidney beans, they, the shape, that's the name, kidney right. beans. So, they look like the kidney, so they're very good for uh, uh, the urine tract, and, you know, this oh, kind yes. of thing. So, the kidney beans. Papaya. Papaya is another good thing. Papaya ha has very good enzymes that help you with digestion. And it also is very good to put it in your skin oh, really? because of the enzymes. So you can make a paste and you can do that. Oh, and the kidney beans are also a very good uh, source of vegetable or uh, yes, plant fiber. protein. Yes, fiber. Exactly. Yes, and yes. very rich. That's another good food. Food that are rich in fiber like the veggies, all the, the, the fresh fruits, the leafy mm -hmm. greens, all those foods that are excellent in uh, with fiber because fiber has like about wonderful things that would, number one help you with the constipation right number right. two because it, make, it keeps you full and then you eat less yes you know it helps you lower your cholesterol it helps your blood sugar it, I mean it's amazing so what is the point in here stay away from processed food yes and you know I love kale yes I've been throwing it and everything and it's, it's it's so wonderful because when even after you cook it it doesn't get um, mushy it still mm. has like a crunchy sort of fresh mm -hmm. crisp flavor and um, it's and my husband he, he's it's hard to get him to eat his greens sometimes <laughs> he loves kale but you're gonna tell him to have figs yes I, <laughs> I will yes You've got to have those. <laughs> but um, you know, another thing I've been experimenting with is quinoa. Uh -huh. That's a really good source of um, protein also. Yes. And, and I use that in place of uh, pasta. Yes. So, and it's, uh, it's whole grain. Yeah. And it's, you know, so there is, there is no excuses for you not to eat right. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you choose things that are close to nature. And stay away mm -hmm. from foods that are man-made. Yes. Select the food that I've got made. A poem. <laughs> I created a poem. So we are living now, right, baby? Yes. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. I love beautiful. you. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too, Mama. Mm -hmm.